The following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Women's Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericawomen.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff and management. Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everybody. I hope you are having just an amazing day. I'm excited to be connecting in with you here just the very end of June. And what we've been talking about during June is really how to be a star in our own life. How do we step forward and shine, not treat life like it's a dress rehearsal or just getting caught up in the everyday things. We want to really live on purpose and with purpose. And so we've been reflecting on and bringing experts to you this month to help you step more fully into your gifts, into your talents, into all of who you are so that you can share that gift, the gift of you, your talents, your experiences, your voice with the world. Whether you are an entrepreneur or not, we all have the opportunity to fully show up in our lives. And when we're willing to do that, it's a gift. We have the amazing privilege, just by being who each of us are, who we are, to impact others. And I want to encourage us all to do that on purpose, to pay attention to what we're choosing to echo out into the world. I was at the grocery store a while back, and it was one of those days that it was the busy, busy time that seemed like everyone on the planet was there and they were having a technology glitch and the lines were getting longer and longer and on top of that, they were short short staffed and people were getting frustrated. So what the energy, what you felt echoed out was frustration, impatience. I didn't see a lot of people choosing to echo out joy, understanding, compassion, love, support and As I watched, people were actually abandoning their carts because they were getting so frustrated. And I looked in front of me and I decided, here's a moment. I can pause. I can breathe. And without saying a word, I can choose to echo out understanding, to echo out patience, to echo out positivity and observe. And when I turned to look at what was happening in front of me, The line was moving slowly. The woman right in front of me was so frustrated. You could feel the waves of it coming off of her. And in fact, it was like she just felt like people weren't understanding how frustrating this is. And they needed to join with her and appreciate the frustration. So as she was getting closer and closer to the front of the line, and I was as well because she was right in front of me, (laughs) I observed the checkout lady. And when I looked at her, she was this bright, shining light. She looked like she was having a blast, checking people out. She was being efficient. She was happy. She was having conversation. Like she was this bright spirit in all of this chaos where people are so frustrated. And that did nothing but to frustrate the lady in front of me more. And I watched and I could feel what is she choosing to echo out? And here's what she did is she got closer and she got the woman's attention, the checkout lady. She leans into her, but she also raised her voice loud enough so all of us would hear. Aren't you frustrated? How can you be so happy? Don't you see all of these lines? Don't you see how bad this is? And the lady looked at her, stopped for a moment, and she said, It's not bad. It's not super busy. I'm just popular today. (laughs) 
the lady was so stunned, she just kind of stopped in her tracks and went through the process and got checked out. But guess what everyone in the line did behind us? Laughed. In that one moment, she shifted. She didn't confront. She shifted the energy because she chose to have the response she wanted to have in that situation. Are we choosing the responses that we want to echo out in the world? Are we letting circumstances control us? Just something to think about. Because as we're talking about being a star in your life, we're going to explore today about stepping into your potential. Shining. Shining means what are you you echoing out to the world? And the more we can step into our potential, the more we can step into our gifts and our talents and our abilities and choose our response, choose what we're going to bring forward, the more we shine, the more we make this world a brighter place. And as we're doing that, I think it's important we think about what are we building into our life to give back? What are we echoing out into the world? I think that's important. Are we remembering to build into our life not only ways to shine, but also ways to invest in or support time, energy, resources, organizations or things that matter to us that's part of what we're echoing out in the world too so we're going to look at all of these things today but to get the most out of our time together i want to invite you to be really present which means let's take a big breath together sit back in that chair feel it supporting you (sighs) wonderful Those of you who are driving, please stay safe. Both hands on the wheels, eyes open and alert, inwardly tuning in. Those of you who are able to, though, I invite you to put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head. Take another deep breath, breathing in through your nose. Expand your belly, see how big you can make it. Eyes closed. Breathing out like you're breathing out through a straw. Keep that breathing going. Hand on your heart, hand on your head, bringing all of you in. This type of breathing will bring you very present, will lower your cortisol levels, reduce your stress, so that we can be in a place to hear, to receive, and to process real time. I invite you throughout the show to keep that breathing Really let what's being spoken to your heart be heard. Open up your ears to hear. (laughs) And in this space, what is it that you need today? What is it that will encourage you, that will empower you to help you step more fully into your potential? To shine, to echo out into the world those things that matter most to you. To give back. What are those things? What is it that you need? And are willing to receive. Because you have choice. What is it that you need? They are willing to receive. Today, real time. Just receive that information. Take another breath. (sighs) Wonderful. It can come in all different ways, shapes, and forms. But however information is communicated to you, receive it. Come back into the room. Eyes open, fully present. And I invite you to write down what was laid upon your heart. Let's keep it top of mind. Whatever it is that you need today, let's be actively on the lookout for it. I've learned it is much easier to step into our potential to receive those things we need when we remember what we're looking for. It's easy to get distracted and forget. But being open to whatever form it may come. Wonderful. Let's take a breath together again. Great. And we're going to go around the room. And I have my wonderful, amazing guests with us today, and I'm going to ask them to share just in about 30 seconds, what or less, they don't have to use the full 30 seconds, they have choice, (laughs) but something that was placed on their heart when we just paused for a moment and listened. So Divya, did you have something laid upon your heart? Absolutely. To me, collaboration is the key. The key is to 
learn together, grow together, and evolve together, and have the mindset of abundance because there is enough to go around for everyone. So don't have competition in your heart. Instead, have collaboration in your heart and come together and form a community. Beautiful. I love that collaboration that we can come together and there's more than enough for all. Beautiful. Thank you. And Sarah Lynn, did you have something placed on your heart to share? Yes, intentional thoughts. And Mm -hmm. with intentional thoughts, it's first of all about self-awareness of who you are as a woman um, and more so as a female and what do we expect um, from the world to give to us and what do we expect to give back to the world. And with that, I think we have to have an intentional thought. And that thought to me would be um, complete self-control of believing in yourself. I like that. I'm writing that down. (laughs) Beautiful. (laughs) I love that. So taking control and choosing how how we believe of ourselves. And um, that's just really beautiful because that affects so much. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. And and what was laid on my heart is connection. How important and rich it is to deeply connect one with another. And I think each of us has something to learn from another and something to mm-hmm. share. And when we allow ourselves to connect deeply, we all win. So that's what was laid upon my heart. Listeners, As we get ready to go into our first commercial break here, I want you to sit in this space a little bit longer. I encourage you to stay fully present in these next two minutes instead of running off trying to cross things off your to-do list. Stay present. Give yourself the gift of allowing yourself to process what is it that I need today? What is it that I'm willing to receive? What are you willing to receive? What is it that you're looking for in our conversations today? And just see what great wisdom is laid upon your heart and awareness. And when we come back, we'll be digging into our experts, their amazing wisdom and advice to support you on your journey. We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. Voice America Women. Your passion starts here. Tune in to the Just Jan TV Show at JustJanTVShow.com. Visionary women's leader Jan Jorgensen is inspiring, practical, and visionary. Jan brings us everyday, transformational, emerging leaders, courageously changing the world by speaking and living their truth. Sit around the table with us for profound feminine wisdom, insights, and connection. Be sure to join us at JustJanTVShow.com. New episodes are every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time at JustJanTVShow.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. For women, the pressure to achieve is stronger, the work hours longer, and the struggle for respect and authority more complex than ever. You want guidance on how to succeed, and you are not alone. You're invited to take your coffee break with Game Changers on Tuesdays at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern for our special series, Game Changing Women. Powerful women leaders will help you make sense of it all, analyze how you can change the game, and share their playbooks. Game Changing Women, presented by SAP on the Business Channel. 
Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and really seeing what is being placed on your heart, what it is that you need today that will encourage you, equip, and empower you to more fully step into your potential and shine. Well, to support you in that journey, we have an expert that specializes in helping people not only step into their potential, but when they do that, to really shine powerfully. Let me introduce you to her. You heard a little bit of her heart in the opening segment as she talked about collaboration. Divya Perrick is an international speaker. She's a business relationship expert, a best-selling author, a coach, a radio show host, and is absolutely passionate about helping clients overcome their blind spots and leverage their strengths powerfully. Please lean in and warmly welcome the amazing Divya Perrick to the show. Welcome. Thank you, Rebecca. It's a pleasure and privilege to be on your show. You are welcome, and I'm glad to have you today. We've had some great conversations, and now we're getting to share you with all of our listeners today. So I'm excited for the the conversation. (laughs) I'm excited, too. Thank you. Absolutely. And I love to start with why. Why is this work of helping people in this way personally so important to you? Why does it matter to you so much? Mm, great question. It is the very fabric of my life. And mm. you know, it goes back to my childhood, my father, who's my hero. Every single time, even to his own detriment, he would help people. And mm. what was funny was that, you know, he would have some conflicts with my mom. But the whole story goes back is that, you know, people get different things in the bottle. And for my milk bottle, what I got was that, you know, helping other people, having that collaboration and believing in flipping the me into we has been so crucial that I don't remember being any other way. And that's my passion that brings me happiness that brings me joy. And when I help people get their aha moments, it's just amazing. It fills me with sense of purpose and meaning and gives me the right direction. So that's who I am. I love it. And I can feel your joy and your energy and your excitement as as you're sharing about that. And I love that. I just want to restate that for our listeners, this flipping the me into a we. That's a really powerful statement and a great reminder for all of us. It's not a solo journey. (laughs) And we can remember that and remember just to make that flip when we start talking about me, 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 us, us, us. (laughs) We can can shift that. We have that power. Beautiful. Now, uh, talking about potential, because that's one of the things you're just such an expert in helping people do. What stops us from really stepping into, tapping into our potential and then shining? What's stopping us? Mm. Rebecca, that's a great question. And, you know, there are so many things that stop us. One of the main things that I'm going to share here is the fear. It's the fear of success. Not only the fear of failure, but it's the fear of success that when I'm successful, am I going to be able to sustain that success? And also think about it. The way our brains are designed, we have these stories and experiences throughout our life since we were a child since our childhood, and when the experiences happened, the memories are stored in our hippocampus, and then the brain likes to conserve its energy, not optimize. So what the brain doing is that when you experience something similar, it goes into its memory bank, pulls the memory out, and then sees the situation from that lens. 
So we have this filter from where we are looking at the world. And as the saying goes, we see the world as we are, not as the world is. So what happens is that especially if you have had a frightening experience or somebody has put you down and then you are coming into contact with that person again, that person may not have told you anything, but your armory goes up, your Mm -hmm. shell goes up, the shutter goes down, and you are already in a mode where you're not open to them. So it's, again, bringing that mindfulness and awareness to the situation to know what you're experiencing. And it's A-OK to experience fears. It's A-OK to be anxious. It's A-OK to be anything you are because you have that potential within you. You were born with that potential that the nature has gifted each and every one of us. So the key is to stay in the moment and be aware of it. And it's what you do about your response and your reaction. That's what matters. Well, and and again, of, as it goes back, is that's what stops us. Well, and, and thank you. And, and some of what you're sharing just struck me that we see what we've already experienced our brain and what we're familiar with, which means we also can't see what could be, <laughs> like the potential of, of things that could be stepped into. And I love this idea, this concept that all these feelings are okay. Their emotions are feelings. It's what you decide to do with it that matters. Like we have choice in that. And that's where we can start shifting what has been to become what we want. Is that correct, my understanding? Mm-hmm. You're absolutely right on the mark, Rebecca. Oh, how does this all, as we're being aware and we're observing certain things about us, or if we have the armor up, down, scared, whatever it is, um, sometimes success, we can get scared. Like, I haven't been here before, now what? <laughs> or um, we don't want to try the new things, we haven't been there. So how does this all affect with the relationship we have with ourselves? How does that, being in that space, observing these things, how does that tie in and why is it important we pay attention to that? Mm. Relationship, that is so close to my heart because relationship itself, that's one of the most essential relationships you can have in your life. And the reason it's important is because we can be our best friend or we can be our worst enemies. Mm. So when you are cognizant of your biases, and I'll just share one very quick example of a bias. So, for example, we always have found that usually, you know, tall people are considered to be smarter somehow. And if you look at usually the CEOs or even if there is a comparison between politicians, a politician who is taller than the other politician will get more votes. So now what is this happening? So this is just something, a preconceived idea, you know, for us as part of a society. We consider tall people to be better looking than shorter people. And same goes, right, that you got to be thin, especially for women, that you have to be thin to be beautiful. And even to this day, we have that very much prevalent and pervading our society. So what happens is that we have this innate and ingrained information in the back of our mind. And some of it is cultural, some of it is economical, some of it is societal. So again, it comes back to that it is there. We don't know about it. Some of it is unconscious, some of it is conscious. So all the more reason to pay attention to it, all the more reason to bring that awareness and know that it's within your power. And, it's your choice. And, and can I ask you, so if we have these things that are kind of running us in a sense and how we're looking out into the world and how we're even seeing others as well as ourselves, because we're with ourselves our whole life, so we, it's good to get to know ourselves <laughs> and build a strong relationship. How can we shift that? How can we start to, one, become aware and two, start shifting that um, perception? Mm. So one of the main things that anybody can do is, I'll share with this, that having simple things in your life, just creating simple habits. And the few things that I would love to share is, one is make sure that you eat your breakfast every single day. 
Mm. You will be surprised that a simple boost of metabolic energy that surprises the brain and that helps and supports the brain with that glucose and energy, it helps it running, it helps it going. And when your brain is fine and when your brain is good and happy and sustaining on the energy, then you are able to deal with situations better than you are on a empty, hungry stomach. Similarly, think about it. You know, if you come home tired from work, it's 10 o'clock at night, just make a decision that after 10 p.m. at night, I'm not going to purchase anything. I'm not going to use my credit card after 10 p.m. I'm not going to make any strong decisions. So one of the best things is to... So and and I'm so sorry to... I'm, I'm going to um, bring... A, we're, we're, our segment's almost coming to a close, and I'm so enjoying <laughs> all that you're sharing. Um, so I just want to round back around to, to one of the things that you shared, and then towards the end of the show, we'll get a couple other tips from you. Um, but it sounds like really paying attention to our, our body and... and perhaps not making decisions when we're tired and things are running us more than we're being conscious in, in making those decisions is a lot of what I'm hearing be, being aware around that. And I know that you've put together an amazing gift and I wanted to make sure we gave you an opportunity to share about that so that our listeners have an opportunity to get support from you and stay in touch. Absolutely. You round it up really beautifully. So pay attention to your personal self, which is the body, mind, and spirit, all three. So important. And the gift is, it is a book that I have written and for which you can get a free assessment. I believe sincerely that you know, you'll know you benefit so much by this book that I'm willing to invest money in you, that when you invest the money in my book, you get not only a leadership and influence audiobook for free, you also get a $50 worth of assessment for free, which will help you who you are and what your personality is and what your adaptation capabilities are. And from that, once you know that, you'll be able to deepen and strengthen your relationship itself. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for making that available to all of our listeners here today. And listeners, I want to let you know how to access this amazing gift. You go to radio, because you're listening to the radio, so radio gifts with an S dot net. So it's radio gifts with an S because there are multiple gifts dot net, a net full of multiple gifts. Scroll down to today's date, which is June 27th. You'll see Divya's beautiful picture and a description of her gift. You'll want to enter your name and email address so we can all stay in touch. And then you'll be able to access her powerful gift to help you step more fully into your gifts and your talents and your potential so that you can shine beautifully out in the world. We're going to our next commercial break, and I encourage you, these are breaks actually called commercial breaks, but they're in disguise. These are two minutes for you to process what's being shared, what's being laid on your heart, to lean into this rich opportunity to get supported on the journey. I invite you to do that, and we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. This is the Voice America Women's Channel, where your success is limitless. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Relationship issues? Anxious? Parenting challenges? No more. Learn to live your best life. Tune into Straight Talk with top therapist, relationship, and anxiety expert, Sandra Reich. Learn to transform your challenges into effective solutions. Whether it's relationships, parenting, anxiety, or other traps, Sandra will show you how you can live the life of your dreams. Listen live every Thursday afternoon at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and 3 p.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Health and Wellness Channel. Do you find yourself working tirelessly to keep your business going? 
Are you finding out that you don't have time for family, friends, any kind of personal life whatsoever? It's time to stop feeling trapped by your business. Tune in to Reclaim Your Freedom with host Shirley Dalton. You'll hear from guests that will help you work on your business instead of constantly in your business and get your life back while the business keeps running and humming. Reclaim Your Freedom airs live every Tuesday at 1 p.m. U.S. Pacific Time on Voice America Business. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-613-1612. That's 1-866-613-1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed that break and that many of you leaned in to say yes to that powerful gift to support you in stepping into your potential and really shining powerfully in the world. So I invite you to lean into that. You'll have we'll have we'll continue to have it up so it's not it doesn't have an expiration date, but the sooner you lean in, the sooner you get to have that support. And I think it's so important to remember life is not a solo journey and the more we can have people collaborate and cheer us on and get insight um, the easier the path is and I believe the more powerful we can be so I invite you to lean in and peruse that site you'll find a number of gifts right there to support you on your journey well we have this other amazing guest our second guest that we introduced you to in the opening segment and I wanted to invite Sarah Lynn today because I love the organization that she supports. And as I have connected with her and watched her on social media and talked with her, her heart is so big and all that she's looking to bring to the world and give back is truly powerful. So I wanted you to know a little bit of her heart, some of what it takes to bring an organization like she's created to the world and tap into her heart, her wisdom and experience. And we're thinking, we're talking about stepping into our potential. We're talking about shining out in the world and giving back. Are we remembering to include that in all that we do? Let me share a little bit about Sarah Lynn. Sarah Lynn is the founder and chairman of a nonprofit organization called AWIN. It's Assisting Working Women in Need. She, it's designed to help single working women and I'm, I'm just looking at my notes because it does so much. <laughs> so it's designed to help <laughs> single working women and their children better them circumstances. That Those are in challenging economic situations now have this organization leaning into them to really support them powerfully. She's been recognized with numerous awards for all of her powerful work. There were so many. I encourage you to look at her bio, read all of the amazing awards and lives that she has touched. And again, she's the creator of not only AWIN, Assisting Working Women in Need, that organization. She's also the creator of AWIN, Top 10 Working Women of the Year Awards, where she finds leaders across the country that they honor and recognize and then bring into their organization in this amazing gala that I know she'll take a few moments to tell us about. She's absolutely passionate about supporting bringing and providing supportive services to single working women, their children, to help them shift their economic challenges to really be able to move forward 
powerfully and then give back <laughs> to the world. So please lean in. Warmly welcome the amazing Sarah Lynn Yu Phillips to the show. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How are you doing? I am great. How are you doing today? I'm doing great as well. <laughs> Good. I'm for production. Oh, you're very, very welcome. Excited to have you joining us today. And I was mentioning behind the scenes that we haven't met in person yet, but we're going to have that opportunity in October at the gala. So I'm very excited about that. (laughs) Yes, Sarah Lynn, do you mind sharing why? Why this work of helping, assisting working women, particularly single working women that have children? Why is that personally so important to you? Well, it's important to me personally because I actually was that single working woman uh, raising my four of my five children. Mm. And in that process, there were lots of things that uh, we went through. We had, we faced lots of challenges as well. Um, so what I do with the organization is in turn, every service that was given to me and my children, I in turn give it back to the community of women here within Chatham County and Effingham. And with those services, what we do is an array of support services to support that woman. Um, Because when you are working, it is very difficult to qualify for any type of government assistance. And so in that, the organization was created for that woman that cannot receive government assistance as well as for the woman that does, but primarily for that working woman. Um, A lot of times I remember the question asked to myself was, how can a woman be working and yet struggling? And especially in my Um, situation, there was a marriage, but it was a bad marriage. I went through domestic violence and everything. Mm -hmm. And so in going through that, I was in my mindset, uh, I definitely did not have an intentional thought because I was not thinking about or nor believing in myself. And that's why I gravitate to that thing as far as having an an intentional thought as far as knowing who you are. Um, I kept my husband's uh, credit up and uh, made sure that everything was just right and perfect for him. Well, um, at the end of the day, leaving that marriage, I left almost losing my life and three of my daughter's lives. And then Mm -hmm. when I got out into the real working world, I realized that I could not afford housing. I could not receive housing simply because I did not have the credit. I couldn't Mm -hmm. go out and get a charge card so that we could maybe live off of that, even though you don't want to. But if you have to, you have to have something to live off of. I could not afford to pay rent because I did not have a sufficient job as well. And so several times within the first year of separation from my ex-husband, uh, we were put out of housing um, simply because I could not make ends meet. And because I was a working woman, um, they counted such things as the blue book value of my then Hyundai Excel, which we know years ago it was not worth very much, and they counted every penny that I made. So when you say receiving government assistance, even as food stamps, they still yet count at the blue book value of my car. And Mm -hmm. um, because of the domestic violence, I was a woman that, in order to avoid him coming back towards me and my children, I did not apply for child support for that. So for that reason, that is why we exist, because I know the walk. Um, So when these women are literally talking to me or they're putting in an application to come through some of our services, I completely understand. So it is my job to educate the public um, to the situation which is going on. In other words, a lot of people say if you're in domestic violence, oh, pick up and leave and, you know, do this and do that. But not really knowing her circumstances, sometimes she cannot pick up and leave because I know you all may be aware, I've heard it on the news where the woman did leave and, of course, he found her and went and shot her and everybody else that, everybody else that was around her. So to avoid that, I feel that there's a time for that woman to leave, but we need to make sure that she is grounded before she makes that move. And then when she makes that move, we need to be there as a safety net to say, okay, here we are to support you, to support the things that you need to keep your household running, your utility bills, um, paying your rent, paying your mortgage, keeping that car going, making sure that your children have the things needed for school as well. 
Wonderful. Sarah thank you so much for sharing your why and some of your own journey. And you're right. When you have walked the walk, you know it. (laughs) And you're so equipped then to walk beside others in a very practical way and and a profound way. And I love that you have been able to create an organization to do this. And um, our time is running really close here. So I just want to have you touch on a couple of things. So for... Mm -hmm. People that are, one, um, wanting to tap into some of the services that you provide, how do they do that? And then secondly, those who want to get involved and maybe support or um, provide services or provide resources to help, how do they do that? Uh, there is a website, and it's awwinc.org, or they can call 912-659-0241. And we would love to have a professional woman involved because we have a professional development class, which we have women to come in and speak to the women to show them that the careers that are available outside, as well as financial counseling and what have you. So there, there's an array of services, and you can see all the services on the website. Uh, we are in need of monetary don- uh, donations as well. We are hosting this great uh, gala October 20th. And with that, we will be honoring women such as yourself, and I'm honored to be honoring you, that have Thank made you. it possible for other women to come along um, behind you and even beside you and walk into the career path that you're walking in. And when you mentioned that book, uh, Secrets of the Woman in the Suit, is actually about women that had the struggles, but yet they were able to go beyond that point and become very successful women. So we invite successful women to be tangible, something that the women that we serve can be touched um, so that they can be touched, these women. And that's the purpose of the book and really that's the purpose of the, the gala as well. Beautiful. So thank you so much for, for sharing. I know that that's coming up and we are getting ready for our next commercial break. The time goes so quickly. <laughs> so listeners, <laughs> I want you to think about um, the path that you have walked and what are you uniquely equipped to walk beside another in that you know that walk you know that journey and you know how to take it to another place if it's not the the journey someone wants to stay on you know how to move forward and are you building that into your life are you making sure to build into part of your shining that you are bringing into your life in a practical way, in a profound way, ways that you are supporting others in the way that you are uniquely gifted to do? Um, I love the work that Sarah Lynn does and how many women's lives she's impacting and very honored to um be part of what they're doing and share her with you and share her vision and give you the opportunity to lean into that. But I want you to find what are those places, those things that pull in your heart that you really understand, you get, you know that journey. You see perhaps that gap and are you willing to lean in and be part of the solution and help and build that into your life? I invite you to really think about that and lean in. That website again, is awwinc.com if you're wanting to connect and learn more and we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. The Voice America Women's Channel. Tune in to the Just Jan TV Show at JustJanTVShow.com. Visionary women's leader Jan Jorgensen is inspiring, practical, and visionary. Jan brings us everyday, transformational, emerging leaders, courageously changing the world by speaking and living their truth. Sit around the table with us for profound feminine wisdom, insights, and connection. Be sure to join us at JustJanTVShow.com. New episodes are every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time at JustJanTVShow.com. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. 
Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. We're making it easier to listen to the Voice America Talk Radio Network wherever you go. In addition to listening live, you can check out information about your favorite talk show hosts, discover new talk show personalities, add shows to your list of favorites, and listen to all our show archives on demand. All from your iPhone, BlackBerry, or Android. Download it from the Apple App Store, BlackBerry App World, or Android Market, and get ready to tune in. The Voice America mobile app, powered by Aircast. The Voice America Women's Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1 866 613 1612. That's 1 866 613 1612. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those two minutes. And we are now coming to our closing segment. The show and time together goes so quickly. (laughs) But I did want to correct one thing. I misstated something. So whenever I discover that, I always want to correct it. I didn't print. So I've been pronouncing it Awin, and it's (laughs) Awin. And I want to make sure I give you the correct site. So, Sarah Lynn, do you mind giving the correct site? Yes, it's A-W-W-I-N. Inc.org. That's awaninc.org. Perfect. So .org, not .com. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much for letting me know so people can actually find what we said they could find. So that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And behind the scenes, we were talking about the show, and we've been talking about stepping into your potential, really fully showing up in your life, sharing who you are, shining powerfully in the world, making sure you're including that element of giving back. Those are the things that we've been talking about today. And in light of that, I asked my guests behind the scenes if they had one more thing laid on their heart that they wanted to share from you as we've continued the conversation, something that they could, in a sense, send you, give to you, share with you as you are getting ready to go back out into the world. I feel like this is a time we have together to process, to share, to grow, and I love for you to have something rich that you can take with you as you go back out into the world. So, Divya, what was placed on your heart that you wanted to share? I want to share the now power, and the now Mm. power, no, in the now stands for no excuses, no judgment, and say no to anything that holds you back, that holds Mm. you back from stepping into your shine stepping into your success. And W is walk the talk. Mm. And the power, now power. Mm-hmm. You have the power within you. Untap it. Untap the potential and let it flow out and step into your success. Beautiful. The now power. And I want to say do it now, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And if your listeners want to know a little bit more about it, if you just Google my name on Forbes, I have a series of articles over there, and you can get to know how to use it for decision-making, for taking actions, building teams, and bringing success in your life. And thank you, Beautiful. Rebecca, so much for having me on your show. Oh, you are so welcome. Loved having you. Thank you for your heart, your passion for what you do, and your willingness to pour into us so richly. Thank you. And Sarah, absolutely. And Sarah Lynn, did you have something laid on your heart that you wanted to share with our listeners today? I do, but first of all, I wanted to say I am uh, have enjoyed listening to her and her now moment. I, I love it because it is all about now. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And as I look um, with me, it's when we're stepping into your potential, 
I just ask that everyone would look in the inside and while you're stepping into your potential, that you would at least grab at least one other woman and take her along with that ride. Because if we are stepping into potential and if we continue to reach back um, for the ones that are still left down and each one um, continue to reach back and as that we begin to reach backwards and for instance, if I reach you, Rebecca, and then you reach Leah, and then she reaches back for, um, let's say, Mary or Jane or whoever, that line begins longer. So we're all pulling one another up as we are reaching our potential. And then with that, so our intentional thoughts for the day or any day should be, okay, did I reach back to pull my sister forward as I am going to my potential? Because as I have seen, I yes. shine simply because of the women that I reach back and pull back up. So if you want to shine and have all the glory of God on you, it is simply by reaching back. And as she said, doing it now. Don't worry about you being to the top. Just take a now moment and reach back and pull that next woman up. Beautiful. I love that. We're going to build these now moments into our life. Beautiful. (laughs) Thank you, Sarah Lynn. And I love that Mm because sometimes we can get overwhelmed. You know, what do I do now? What do I do with all this information or as I'm stepping forward and remembering now, take action, this awareness, and then remembering to reach back. It's heart by heart, yes. life by life that we make these differences. I think sometimes we, we think it needs to be um, shouting out to thousands and thousands and millions of people that that's where we make the difference. And I think, yes, some of us get to do that, but it really is a heart by heart conversation. Even to now, as we're connecting on the radio or the podcast, depending on how you're listening to us, it's us talking to you. It's heart by heart life by life, that we are connecting, that we are receiving, that we are sharing, that we are reaching out to each other. So I want to encourage you to um, remember, it's heart by heart, it's life by life. It's not a solo journey. We all have an opportunity every single day to choose who we're going to be, how we're going to be, what we're going to echo out, and who we're going to reach back or reach over to support or walk beside or be willing to receive the hand reached out to us as well. It goes both ways. I want to encourage you as you go back out into the world to do it on purpose. Do it with purpose. Be willing to step towards your potential and into your potential. Be willing to share the gift of who you are with another Be willing to shine. Not just show up, but shine. Be willing to be seen, to share out into the world, to echo out those things that matter most to you. You have an opportunity every day, whether you're in the grocery store (laughs) or walking down the street (laughs) or driving on the road, you have opportunities every moment to choose how you're going to be, who you're going to be, what you're going to be echoing out to the world. And I just want to encourage you to have it be what matters to you that is being echoed out. Because we get that choice. We don't get those moments again. We get today. We get now. (laughs) So let's take a breath together. In that breath, what is the now thing What is it you're going to do in these last two minutes of the show? (laughs) What are you going to do today to step towards your potential and to share a little bit more of who you are? What is it that you're going to do? And with that, I send you back out into the world. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Remember to shine the beautiful gift of who you are. Remember that you are beautifully and wonderfully made on purpose and for a purpose. Absolutely needed for such a time as now. And be willing to always, always bloom where you're planted and shine. We'll look forward to talking to you next week. Take care, everyone. Bye. Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Women's Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. We'll be right back. 